All right, so I'm gonna make a uh, quick video here showing the E450. This is a very nice motorhome that I purchased. It has pretty much everything in it. Um, only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I'm a single guy. I have no pets or anything. And um, I just purchased a Sprinter van right there, um, which has nothing. It's an empty gutted van. Paid about 10 grand for it. But this uh, here is very nice. Um, so let me just take a quick walk around. Start at the front here. You see I did put a custom grill on there, which makes it look really nice. What I was actually going to do was put a 2010 E, uh, any of the E series uh, front bumpers, uh, headlights, everything makes it look like a brand new um, version of this basically. But I did put the uh, custom grill on there and as you can see the headlights and everything are in great condition. This is all the original paint and everything, E450 Super Duty. Um, the rims and tires all around are brand new as you can see. Literally all the tires are new. See, we do have an awning here. Uh, I haven't actually put that down. Uh, this is an awesome piece of glass here, um, which makes it look really roomy on the inside. This is for the door to open up. Over here, this has to do with the uh, tank. So if you want to charge up the propane tank, you can. Um, propane is very cheap. See the door here. a little latch now this is locked you have a screen uh, it's pass entry so you go through here it's a power step here um, as you can see this is a coachman 311 SB in the bottom here you see we have tons of room there's even room up there and this goes all the way to the other side so this thing uh, uses all the room excellently of course you have locks Right here, you have the sound system. So when you turn on the radio inside, you can convert it to there. Basically, you have speakers. These do sound great. Um, you can also charge your phone from right there. And the vent system here. As you can see in there, that pops right off. The vent. The air rides. Again, you see the rims, tires are all in great condition. Again, these are almost uh, brand new. Um, I changed the brakes in the, in the back myself. Those are brand new. We have some power outlets here. Um, let's go to the top here. You see we have another window, an exhaust port. This is for when you're cooking. And this is a custom 10 watt LED uh, floodlight that I put outside. I replaced the original one. This one's about 10,000 10, times better. But um, later on at night, I'll come back and I'll show how that works. And for the awning, the window back here, you see the awning is really strong, really sturdy. It's not some cheap little pole. You see it's all high quality stuff. Over here we have more storage room, a ton of storage room. This goes all the way to the back. You have a light here. This whole thing slides forward and back. I mean, this is a piece of carpet in there. Um, and then more storage back there. You see vacuum cleaner, lanterns, all kinds of stuff. You can literally put a kayak in the bottom here. Let's see another some spot there. Jack that down. Uh, in the back, see this comes with a scooter. I'll take this off here. So you do see uh, it does come with a scooter. I'll come back in a minute with the key, start that up for you. Uh, you see the back window is an emergency back window which means that it's uh, in case of fire you can pop that out uh, ladder going up to the top ladders in not great condition you see some little folds in there but you are still able to get to the top this rack comes with it uh, you can put a motorcycle there or you can take the scooter off and put uh, some kayaks there whatever you'd like you see the hitch at the bottom from around here get the city water connection this is the other side of the storage again it's gigantic absolutely gigantic you see here you got these little levers which kind of hold it into place and here you have some different valves and options fill use 
water line drain hot, water line drain cold. Again, this thing moves. Get another light over here. And there's tons of storage on the left side, right side. You see a bunch of miscellaneous stuff comes. This is the turn on, um, take the wheels off. And uh, there's tarps in here, there's squeegees, um, bags. There's, uh, I don't even know all the stuff that's in here to be honest with you. But there's a bunch of stuff that come with it. So we'll close this here. Over here, to unlock this, we have all the hoses. This is for your tanks. Uh, again, everything's powered also. This is for your dirty tanks, the no tanks and everything. All the hoses, everything is all right there. Easy to hook up. Um, gas, pretty self-explanatory. This is for the power right here. Um, so all you do is you pull this out and you plug it into the power or I have one of these on here Which as soon as you plug it there's a light that comes on so you know you got power going to it you plug into a standard house house outlet And more for the exhaust ports here And here you see again, we got a ton of storage you see Again, this goes down all the way. There is a light inside of there Another thing for the air ride over here we got more storage this is actually a door for the alternator you see safety equipment up here we've got a whole another drawer this security thing and this has all kinds of uh, safety equipment uh, umbrella jack hammer there's all kinds of miscellaneous tools, oil. That locks in there real nice. And over here we have the generator. Uh, generator is almost brand new. Um, it doesn't run right now. As you can see, it kind of wants to run. It just needs the carburetor clean. This is a very common issue on the carburetors. Um, I don't use generators, so if you clean the carburetor, then it's good um, until it gets, you know, kind of clogged up again. It's very easy to clean a carburetor. Um, it's just, again, this thing wasn't used too much, so. Let's see, we got mirrors up top. And, oh, and by the way, the generator will run if you shoot a little starting fluid into it, so that you know you know it definitely works. And go around here again, like new tires. And we're up here to the front, so pop the hood here on this motor. Alright, so here we have the motor. As you can see it's your standard Ford. This is a V10 motor, this is a E450. Um, AC works good, you see a Durablast battery. There's really not much to see here because on these motors, I've had a couple vans in my life, they're really easy to work on because you gotta go in through the center, but these V10 motors are absolute workhorses. They last a long time. It's got 50,000 miles on it, not even now. Um, I'm gonna say it's gonna have at least another 150,000 miles on it. Um, these trucks are standard um, in terms of the motors so I mean you can get parts for them absolutely anywhere anybody will work on them they're not like the buses that have weird diesel motors tons of maintenance and stuff like that you just change the oil on these and um, these motors are great and definitely preferred by a lot of people um, the whole suspension chassis and everything I mean this thing is so easy to drive I've driven a lot of different vehicles school buses um, and this basically, you have to remember, is a 450 van. That's it. Um, it's the standard van. It's the van chassis and everything. And basically, the uh, company has cut the top here and you know put in all the plumbing and put in everything. And it drives so incredibly easy for what it is. It's really incredible. If you've driven a van before, or the buses, uh, rather the freights or anything like that, it's this is just like driving a van. It's it's really easy. Not intimidating right, at all. So I'm going to start up the motor here. 
Engine is uh, ice cold. It's the first time I'm starting it today. And as you can see, there are no check engine lights or anything like that. All the needles, everything is moving as it should be. I'll give it a little rev here. So the engine is not making any noises at all. It's the first time I'm using this GoPro. I don't know if it's picking up any weird noises, but this engine runs absolutely super smooth. absolutely super smooth so I'll put up a video later of me driving it so you see the engine runs good there's no issues with it uh, the transmission everything's perfect again no issues with this motor whatsoever everything's been kept up and there's uh, 48,249 miles at this point on there. I'm not too yeah. sure about the system as far as how it works exactly but there's four jacks on there use these that they go up and down I basically keep them up um, I will tell you that this thing came in really handy. When I purchased this, he said the only thing that was left on it that he didn't do, he did all the maintenance and everything, was he put in brand new front brakes and he didn't have time to have the back brakes installed. And what I did myself, because uh, I do work on cars and jet skis and stuff like that, was uh, change brakes out a million times myself, was I changed out the rear brakes myself and I said, well man, with this dually, it's gonna be really tough. See those two lights. Um, as far as jacking this thing up, I was a little bit nervous, but those jacks lifted up the entire back of the vehicle, both tires on both sides, was able to change, take those tires off, um, replace the pads and swap them back on there. And it was, what I thought was gonna be the hardest brake, brake change in my life was one of the easiest. Um, you have to take off both the dualies, but it's really not tough at all. And again, this is an American vehicle, tons of parts, everything is available, knowledge, forms, all that type of stuff. All right, so if we look into the cab here, um, you'll see we do have the power windows, power mirrors. Um, this is set up here to hold the phone for GPS. So that you have that. Lights, warning lights tell you whether the jack is on. The seats are pretty comfortable. Uh, all right, so we're now inside. And um, as you can see, we do have the AC. Everything is really clean in here. Um, there's no rips on the seats or tears or anything like that. The dash is in just incredible condition. Um, this is an aftermarket JVC radio. It does have the aux input. You can take that off. Um, now, this radio here isn't just hooked up to some speakers on the inside. There's speakers that are in the back that I'll show, and as well as the speakers that you saw outside of the car. Like if you're just at a campground, wherever, football game, you want to listen to the music or talk radio, whatever it is out there, you can't do that. Um, and this radio is uh, pretty powerful also. Turn that off. Um, again, the uh, emergency start button here. Um, it does have an extra battery system in the back, which is used for the back, but if your battery up here runs out for some reason, you can click that and start it. Yeah, I'm gonna start it up. This car starts up just first crank, no problems. Cranks right up. Um, there's no check engine lights or nothing. I just put the brake down. Um, that's why that's on there. You see overdrive, everything's automatic. I mean, again, if you're sitting here in this position, this is a regular van. This is a regular Ford van and it's pretty much that easy. Um, not intimidating at all. All right, so just got the key. Title's inside. Had a little rainstorm here, so. But, uh, got this key in here. And uh, it's got mm, about 2,000 miles on there. So. There it is, it's just a uh, cheap Chinese scooter. That's how it's a 50cc. But, um, you know, pretty much gets you anywhere you need. And this is the perfect thing. If you are RVing somewhere, you just wanna go for a cruise or you wanna get some groceries or whatever, there's room in here. I think the carburetors need to be clean because I haven't been using this scooter too much. I got a motorcycle, but again, it does have the scooter and it does have some room. This is a uh, ramp that comes off. It comes off here, it goes on to the end of here. So, um, yeah, the scooter does come with it, title, everything. So, let's go inside.
All right, so here's the uh, whole front area here, so you can see. And uh, again, the seats, all in really good condition. See the dash, everything is good. Here is the remote also. That's for the radio. And you see again, the seats are real nice and clean. See the carpeting, it's all in really good condition. Um, didn't really get used and you got tons of room back here. And... All right, so I'm gonna just give you the tour inside. So walk up the stairs here. The first thing you see is the uh, power button, which is uh, the main power disconnect. So you just turn that on, that turns on all the power. This button here is for the uh, for the step. We have some power outlets here. And this is for the ceiling light and everything. So as soon as you walk in, you basically turn this on, that turns on the light. And uh, so you can see everything, the porch light and the trunk light. Um, and again, we'll show that later. That's the porch light that I've converted to a uh, 10 watt. So go up the stairs here and you'll see, uh, uh, give me the quick tour here. Give me a quick look around. Start from the front. Uh, so this is a 40 inch flat screen, uh, brand new. I uh, just purchased this TV uh, specifically for this RV. Um, so it's only a few months old, has a warranty on it. It is a 4K TV, it's super light. That's why uh, I got it, it doesn't consume too much power. Um, I have, as you can see here, a uh, Xbox 360 uh, with the remotes. I have it hooked up through Wi-Fi as well, which I'll show you that. So um, well, let's start up with this top area here. So this top area here, it does, um, you can actually push this in all the way and eliminate this spot and have more room, which pushes this whole TV back. I'll actually remove this here. Now I took this TV and I mounted these brackets on there, on the back. And the reason that I did that, there's one, there's a second one, and built this here was because I, what I wanted to do was be able to have this TV and move it there in the corner so you can see from wherever or also mount it on the outside so if you go to a football game or you're out in the woods and you got a fire outside I want to be able to take this TV and just within you know a minute or seconds be able to move it outside it's also why I got a high quality TV and everything um, so as you can see, you made these mounting brackets, and these could be made from Home Depot, put anywhere. But this whole thing slides in all the way so that uh, you have as much room up there or it comes back. So if you want someone to sleep up here, this does fold down. It's pretty comfortable. It can easily you know, hold anybody. Uh, there's room up here. There's a window out here. You see you have some cabinets. Which those that go in there. I don't know how well you can see because I know it's not too dark, but there's a TV right there, which does, uh, it does work. There's some more cabinets here for more storage. You have a fan up here. There's the TV. It's not hooked up to anything, but if you did want to hook it up to anything, or we'll use it for more storage. Uh, you have another window here. It comes with this pillow. Um, now, if you want privacy, these close as well all the way and then you have complete privacy there these actually come right together you see there's velcro so now you have complete privacy and you can sleep up there or you can pull it away now So now, there we go. Cabinets up here. There's actually a speaker system back there. Again, that's controlled by the radio up there. You see the uh, Xbox, and there's power in there. Here you see a thing for some of the remote controls for the TVs. Some extra auxiliary power in there. Here we have all the paperwork. All the paperwork. This was actually uh, for the rear brakes. The uh, owner information. All kinds of 
camping world, uh, this information on the generator, just anything you uh, need to know about this vehicle, appliances, troubleshooting, chassis, frame suspension information, jacks, um, all the information is right here. TVs, so plumbing, uh, battery voltage, basically any information you would need to know is right in here speaker system here over here we have the curtain for the front which I'll put on there now all right so as you can see this is a piece that came originally um, as you can see it's really clean again no one ever lived in this this is really rare that you find one in this good a condition um, and so basically this hangs up over the front so you do have 100% privacy and it just looks a lot bigger in here as well that really helps out quite a bit All right, so did the front here. Another thing you notice is uh, the speaker system. This is a logistics. As you can see, it's bolted up there to the top. And um, I did put a surround sound system in here. Um, as you can see, there are speakers here as well. This one's on Velcro. There's another speaker. This is the main one. There is a subwoofer right there with the amp and another speaker there and speaker over there so you kind of get surround sound um, another thing i had these set up for was so that they are able to be taken and brought outside as well so um, here you see these are replaced with led lights it's a blue led light effect on there uh, we have a really nice this is a very comfortable couch uh, not a couch no, it's just a, a chair you also have so it is illegal. Um, here, this does uh, fold out into a bed. This whole thing comes out. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now, but um, obviously, you know, this whole thing comes out. So there is another bed area here. That's enough to sleep too. Uh, of course, you can sleep one up there. You have another light here, which I put aftermarket LED, white LEDs on the blue LED one. Coming here into the kitchen, um, there's a light here. You got storage here, which you'll see uh, there's a few things in there. Storage there. Sink, this is uh, a double sink, which is really nice to have. Um, this is a gas stove, you see three gas burners on top. See a nice cutting board up here. Uh, you get a light there. Obviously, this is a exhaust fan. What you saw on the outside it does have a light and exhaust fan. Uh, good, good high quality. This is a Samsung microwave. Um, coming out here, you have the uh, information as far as to turn on the heater, the pumps, and you have a test thing here. So you can hit that test button, and it tells you on the right. Your battery it says your battery's full. Your gray water tank. You see the. Uh, we'll start from the left. LPG, which is how much gas you have. You're about three quarters full. Fresh water is the next one. You're about three quarters full. The holding tank uh, basically is empty, and the gray tank is empty as well. Um, over here, you see this is for the generator, and as you can see it's got 96 hours which is literally just a few days of use uh, the carburetor needs to be cleaned out but you just hit this button you can hear that it did turn over it almost ran um, it does run with uh, starting fluid but it does need to be cleaned out and the emergency stop um, here you have the Americana Domatic Domatic is one of the uh, better names for sure refrigerator and this is a big one um, you can turn it on through gas electric this is a nice 311 so you see you actually have your own freezer and the freezer is pretty good size this is one of the bigger ones for sure um, the refrigerator here is uh, quite large as well you see tons of room in there um, I mean even these you know I'm doubling up on the waters there it's pretty much all I drink um, the oven here does have some ceramic plates in there. 
that are better for uh, getting it warm. Um, the storage there, there's storage in here. You see there's, um, all the stuff comes with, there's pots and pans and uh, all kinds of stuff in there. I know it's kind of dark. And coming in here, there's more storage. Uh, there's some cleaning products in there. Coming here to this table, uh, I replaced this, put some blue LEDs in there. They're pretty bright. I also replaced these lights here. Um, that is an extremely bright white LED light. And it's a you know new age type of thing. Uh, again, I 2016 went through this whole thing, uh, upgraded everything. There's a speaker again. Um, now, this table, of course, drops right down. And you can see pegs here where it lines up on there. And you see another power outlet over there as well. Uh, this just moves. And of course, uh, this sinks down and folds down into another bed. So that's another space for two people to sleep across here. Um, over here, I just put up a nice painting. There's uh, There was a clock over there. Uh, this is just a picture of Yosemite or something like that. This is the Duotherm Biodomatic cooling system. It does have AC. Uh, the AC does work. It says it has a furnace as well. Um, I'll just turn on the fan. And there's uh, there's plumbing above here. Actually, let me look at the roof here. There's plumbing up on top. So these are vents that force the AC out here. See another light. Um, you see another vent here, another light. You see there's a, another, that should probably be replaced with a fantastic fan is what I would put up there. Um, this right here is for the uh, antenna uh, that's up there. And you see we have, I don't know if that is a fire alarm or carbon dioxide or whatever. Uh, and there's another vent right there for the AC. So you see this RV has pretty much, you know, all the options available. Going nice and cold. So we'll uh, turn that off. Uh, am I missing anything here? No. Alright, so coming further back, uh, we have one of my favorite things on this, which is what kind of separates it from an RV to almost like a single bedroom. On the left side here, you'll see that we have a shower. And most of the times you have an RV where the shower is in the same place as the toilet and everything gets wet, mildew and whatnot. Uh, it looks like no one's ever used this shower. It is absolutely spotless, 100% um, clean. And you see this is you know, a legitimate shower. Um, it does have a bar here which is able to be taken out and you can hang some clothes there. Um, for your soaps and everything. And uh, I mean, just a, you know, just a basic shower, but again, most of these are set up to be uh, bathrooms as well. And this is, you know, if right now you couldn't tell if you're in an RV or someone's house. All right, so we'll close All right, that. So the next thing we're gonna check out is the bathroom here. Turn on the lights. And um, as you can see, this is uh, just its own dedicated bathroom with its own toilet. I haven't uh, used the toilet or anything, but there it is. It does have a gray water tank and all that. Uh, there's an air vent right there. And uh, as you can see, there's storage there, toilet, cleaning, there's all kinds of shelves. There's more storage in here, cleaning products, towels. Um, you know, you have power there for your toothbrush. You have a sink. Um, the faucets look kind of dated. So I did actually buy this. This is brand new. Um, so there's a set of faucets in there that are just, you know, nice chrome ones. Um, as you can see, there's just tons of storage in here. So if, uh, again, I'm a single guy, but if you're traveling with a lady, uh, definitely something she would like. Again, tons of storage all up in here and if you're traveling with a guy and he stinks
guy. That will suck this room out inside of seconds. <laughs> so, so um, this pretty much it gets. With this door, um, if you want to separate the bathroom area, you simply close that on there, and then it looks like uh, you know there's a whole separate room in there. So, if you wanted to change or use that middle room for anything, you have that. Again, you see I'm pushing on it. Okay, so uh, let's go check out the best part here, which is the bedroom. Close that, and. Uh, this is the one I've spent the most amount of time doing. Um, basically, this bed is like new. It had the original cushions, which I have uh, put in there. Uh, the bed sheets and everything like that that you know came with it when this thing was sold. Um, you could tell the carpet and, and everything in here is is almost like new. Um, so we'll start here. As far as inside these cabinets, uh, there is a ton of room back there. There's a ton of room here. Again, these are the original comforters and blankets and everything. There's an extra blanket there um, that come with it. These uh, new linens that I purchased here, um, it's all 100% brand new. No one's ever slept in it. Um, so you got nice door handles on there. There's more storage here. Tons of storage there. Uh, here you have an LED... Uh, it's kind of a laser light type of thing. Just plug that in there and uh, shoots it out. You can't see nothing now, but I'll show it later. Coming up here, um, I redid uh, these myself. This is a nice, you can kind of tell it's a nice leather type of feeling. Um, I wanted this to look, you know, really modern. You see I redid that one. Redid that over there as well. It's, you know, I wanted this to really look like a bedroom. And as you can see, I you know changed. There was uh, the 12 volt uh, light switch there. This is more of the light switch you would have inside of a house. So I changed that up. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it looks nice. Uh, you have you can open up and close the windows here. You get kind of a jealousy window type of thing. Um, up here, uh, we're gonna get the AC, the light. There's another light switch on the outside that turns that one on, and you have a, another vent right there. But up here, you see there is another TV, uh, which you can use or not use. Um, here is a great place to basically, you know, sit down and you can work on the laptop. I have Wi-Fi through here, so, you know, nice little spot uh, to kind of work if you work off your computer, get a nice view outside. And here you have power, so if you did want to charge your laptop or anything like that, you get the perfect spot. Um, there's some more storage here. It goes all the way to the back. That goes always to the back corner. Uh, there's some hidden storage down in there as well. Actually, a bunch of little hidden storage spots all around here. So go around to the bed again. This here closes off, and you got the second door that closes off. Uh, this was the original on the outside. I put this uh, black material um, Just so you kind of can't even see that there's anything back here and uh, Again, this is just nice really cozy. Uh, this is an RV queen size bed. So this is the uh, larger luxury one that They have for these coaches So um, coming around here again, you see the same type of material um, It's there more storage here pretty good amount of room um, hang some more clothes up there and then again these are the original pillow covers and stuff are up there more storage down here I changed out these I mean I'll show this at night as well um, but this has a blue light and a white light that's super bright and that looks much better than the old school ones that they have um, here is some LED dancing lights. Now these are controlled by your phone and you can basically play music on them through Bluetooth and they also uh, dance. I'll show that in a second here. Um, pillows, um, everything in good condition. Um, this back window here, uh, it is an emergency exit window as well. It does pop right out. 
and let's see. Do have storage up here. And this goes all the way down in there. So, you know, as far as all your clothes and everything, you got tons of room. Now, uh, one other thing that uh, I think is really important is security. And so, you know, if something happens, you want to be able to have some type of protection. Um, so what I built into this, because again, you got the RV that's sitting right there behind you. Uh, what I built into this is uh, some security. So you can't see it in the room and no one would notice it. No one would look, but if you move this bed forward a little bit, you see you do have a uh, shotgun pistol grip on there. Um, basically you just take the Velcro off here and let's throw the shotgun. And before I forget, this is the power system here, the power panel. You have your fuses. Well, fuses there and fuses here. Um, it's all right here by the door. Everything works good. It charges up. Um, everything works as it should. And the batteries are kept under here for the uh, internal batteries, which just slides out. All right. Here is the... Uh, the top so you can see uh, I don't know if you can see that beautiful moon up there but uh, as you can see a bunch of room up here it's pretty solid but here's the top all right so uh, it's nighttime here as you can see blue lights coming up from the outside so I'll show you some of the uh, features here. So again, you have the uh, master light switch here. And um, you have the light that you can hit from the outside and also the interior light that you see right there with lights up. Um, some of these lights I replaced, these are blue, uh, somewhat ultraviolet lights that basically, um, it's almost like black lights and just sets a real nice mood. Um, so I'll show the outside first here. Let me, let me turn on this light here. And as you can see, there's a remote control here. And so instead of just the crappy little uh, bulb that's on the outside here, you can see, I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up, but see basically all the different colors, the red, the green, uh, the green, the blue, the red. And the camera's not picking it up too well, but I mean, it's pitch black out here and it's lighting up this uh, entire area on the RV here. It's lighting up the tree and all back here. Again, I know it's not coming out on the uh, GoPro here, but uh, trust me, this light is super powerful, super bright, and you know, all kinds of different moods. And you can make it flash and you can make it uh, less bright or you can make it more bright. See, it's less bright there, and here it's lighting up all the ground and everything, really. So, uh, inside here, we got all the blue lights. We also have um, more lighting. There's tons of lights here, so if you want to light this whole area. Uh, as you can see, I got the, uh, the TV on, and i um, actually just playing online with my friend from uh, Boston. Everything is hooked up through wirelessly. And so if we go check out the uh, back bedroom and everything, you see the shower here, it's got its own light and everything. The light switch is outside here, just like on a regular house. So you can turn off those lights, take a shower at night if you want. The uh, bathroom switch is on, so. All right, so here we have the bedroom. Um, and again, we have, turn on the speakers through the Bluetooth. And you can get the dancing speakers here. See that? But, um, and here we have the Up here to work on, 
and basically, uh, you know, it's just a laser show. You can direct that to different areas and everything, but it's pretty neat. I mean, this is, you know, you spend a lot of time in the bedroom, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's a nice spot to hang out, relaxing, separate from everything else. And you got your laptop that you can work on or watch movies or whatever have you, but safety, security. And again, you do have these lights on the side here. These are super powerful. If you hit them once, there is a uh, blue light. The second time, it's a much brighter, brighter white light. You see that lights up that whole area. This is on a swivel, so you can turn this to different areas um, for reading light. So if you want to read a book or anything like that, you can go ahead and turn those on, turn those off. Uh, very nice lights. So that's about it. Again, got the fridge, got everything. Just a very comfortable uh, spot hanging around here. If you're entertaining people, you got the big screen, you got the surround sound. The sound's incredible. Um, you can hear everything from the back as well, from the speakers in the back, and um, pretty much has all the, the modern comforts. Um, again, I don't know if you can see that. On the outside that's picking up in the camera but the whole tree everything is just green for probably about 50 75 feet out there from that light again you can turn it off with the remote or you can turn it off with the switch but that is about it all right so here's the shotgun um this was uh again purchased brand new it's never been shot it was only purchased um for this rv specifically because I really feel like you have to have some type of protection and if this thing goes off, not that you have to shoot anybody or anything like that, I can promise you that'll alleviate the situation, get the person from running. Um, I purchased this shotgun uh, brand new. This is a 12 gauge shotgun. Um, this is the original stock that came with it. Um, this is a very nice pistol grip. It actually has rubber on there, which is nice because instead of just a hard plastic one, um, it has really comfortable rubber. Uh, so we got some... Uh, Looks like Pink Floyd. I can turn this up with my rate with my phone. So, let me turn that down here. So, uh, as you can see, I'm going to come back at night, but uh, it does work pretty good. So that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the RV there. So lots of room. Get the different bathroom, different shower, um, full size fridge, refrigerator. Um, you know all the options. Tons of room. If you got a bunch of other kids or whatever that want to sleep, and you got two in there, you got another two right there, you got another kid up there, and you know you can have one fall asleep in the chair, I guess. Um, and then you still got room up here um, But I mean just lots of different options um, Again, the sound system is great um, The 40 inch flat screen you could you know watch TV anywhere. Um, I will sell the Xbox 360 with it This has a warranty and everything like that. Um, I got it not too long ago um, as You can see there's a bunch of games right there um, I don't know this thing is just great. This is basically a uh, really nice one bedroom apartment and you know for the price I know people that have paid double uh, just for a, a newer car um, it's a great RV and again all you, you know all the original stuff here all the original covers I kind of really want to show this because you can tell that there's no rips or tears or or anything this is um, all the original stuff here the original carpet Um, everything it uh, it really didn't get used much and again that's why uh, this January has 96 hours on it um, this thing is in just really great condition so if you're interested you want to live in it you want to uh, take it to some football games you want to travel the country in it again that motor runs absolutely perfect I ran a diagnostic tests on it as well 
um, OBD2 sensor and uh, just drove flawlessly. So do a little video of it being driven and that's about it. All right, so here we are in the camper. Just gonna take a, a little test drive around here. So you can see the stop sign. I'm gonna make a right turn here. Um, there's no check engine lights or anything like that. I'm gonna stop and get some gas in a minute. Um, and what I'm gonna do is take a right turn here so you can see how good the power steering works. There's no issues with turning this thing. Engine's barely making any noise. Speed limit here is 35. It's got the nice uh, V10 in it. So we're already going 35. Nice smooth ride. Wheels not pulling to any side or anything like that. Um, driving a while, you see the uh, temperature is right in the medium gauge where, where it should be. There's no funny noises. Uh, we're going a little 40 miles an hour now. There's no issues with the transmission, with the shifting, anything like that whatsoever. Uh, no strange noises. That window is open, so be a noise, but uh, thing just drives like a dream, uh, as well it should. It has under 50,000 miles, and this engine has been maintained. We're uh, out in uh, Wellington right now in an equestrian neighborhood, and we're going to drive all the way down to the ocean down uh, Southern Boulevard. Let's see, hit the brakes here. Plenty of room. Come here to another stop sign, take another hard right. If this guy ever goes. Again, so I'm completely stopped now and again. Power windows. Right, finally, this guy's going. I roll those windows up. I see I take a nice tight turn. Not to get in anyone else's lane. Uh, that 30 foot is just really the perfect uh, length, it really is. About 40. Maybe I should uh, roll down that window. And uh, that's it. Car is driving straight. Car. You see, I'm just gonna put my finger on there. And uh, very easy to drive. So that's it. You go to your destination, you go all over the world, well, not all over the world, you got oceans, but this thing will take you anywhere that you want. Uh, you know, I, you know, people always talk to me about traveling to other countries and everything, but in America you have everything. You know, you, you have uh, the rain, you know, uh, the big trees in Oregon and California, and you got the desert, and you got the ocean, and you got plateaus, you got flat land. In uh, Kansas, you got the Grand Canyon, uh, so many places in Florida, um, all kinds of reefs. Go down to Key West, Chicago, you can go to Canada, go to Alaska, and these things. And with the Ford Motor, um, you know, it's, you know, the parts, everything is really easy to get, and these things are really reliable. So, should be able to get another 100,000 miles out of this thing very easily. Um, again, this thing barely got used. All the original comforters and cushions and everything are all still there without a scratch. Um, very well maintained. Just got the rear tires, uh, did the front brakes, back brakes. Um, all the maintenance stuff has been done. All right, so we're just sitting here at a uh, major light. This is four lanes. Got the green light now showing this thing can definitely uh, keep up with traffic 
This is just off a uh, stop. I'm not pushing the gas pedal down all the way or anything. You know, I'm just showing how great this thing handles because I've driven some of these that are just a horrible mess. They're just too big, too much weight. Let me step it up. As you can see, this thing's uh, just driving great, no issues. Sweet, got a green light down there. Let's speed up a little bit. All right, so here I am going down uh, Southern Boulevard. This road cuts all the way across Florida, down to uh, Okeechobee. Uh, as you can see, doing about 50 miles an hour. Uh, no issues. Uh, slow down a little bit over here. Brakes on. Um, but again, it's signs for I-95. Uh, just going with traffic here. There's somewhat of a traffic jam and uh, no problems. Heading down towards 95. Let's see, we're doing a nice uh, steady speed of about uh, almost 60 miles an hour, a little bit under. It's actually still over the speed limit. But uh, everything is feeling nice. I don't hear a bunch of stuff rattling in a little bit. There's, of course, in every RV, um, it is heavy and there's a bunch of stuff to move around, but it's uh, pretty quiet. It's actually quieter than my Volkswagen car. You can definitely say that for sure. Here we are going up this hill. Going about 60 miles an hour. 